Right, let's see what's going on here today. In the uh, middle of the shop here, Sterling Arsenal looks like Matt's working on some scopes here. Uh, looks like that's a Schmidt and Bender, and that's a, a Night Force. What's going on, Matt? Hey guys, just kind of going over a little bit of uh, what we do here at Sterling Arsenal and uh, mounting up precision scopes for uh, for ourselves and customers on a regular basis. Um, right here, I've got a Schmidt and Bender PM2 5 to 25 by 56. And uh, Accuracy International team is uh, switching over to Night Force Optics. And we have the 5 to 25 by 56 ATAC RF1. And uh, getting it all leveled up and switched over on our Accuracy International rifle. What kind of tools are we using here? So we're using a Badger dead level uh, base to get the ring set leveled up. And then from there, we're using a machinist level on various points of the optic to uh, make sure that everything's perfectly level from the Picatinny rail all the way to the top of the optic utilizing uh, Borger Tools um, torque wrench for making sure everything is perfectly torqued to spec and no crunching of the tube or having any uh, shift under recoil even on heavy recoil rifles. Right on. Now th these are obviously top of the market pro grade um, optics but we pretty much follow the same process and technique to mount rifles every day on um, everyone's everyday uh, hunting rifles and 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 uh, attack rifles, right? Absolutely, anything from your standard hunting rifle on a Remington 700 or a Bone Stock AR-15 to a 1022, we're gonna do the same process and uh, with the same level of precision. Hey, and what's um this thing right here? Did you make that? This is a uh, in-house made uh, custom Simrad mount for the spur ring set here for uh, Simrad Night and Vision Optic. Um, these are uh, PDS-9s and this kind of just slides onto the rail assembly here and locks in place and that turns a day optic into a night optic. That is phenomenal. And so you have the, the exit pupil here the, the objective that filter that mirrors the light up into the the um, the view up into the uh, exactly up into the uh, night vision module. It's a prismatic folded light path optic. That's pretty cool, and so that's all going to sit on top of your comp gun here. Exactly. Cool. All right. Well, we'll take a snapshot of it when it's all all together in a few minutes. Thanks, man. Thank you. All right. All right. We're back. Got the optic mounted on the rifle. Pretty All set up. Cool, is, uh, pretty cool rig. The competition a... rifle is uh, Accuracy International Mark One AX. It has uh, the Night Force ATAC R 52556 uh, F1, so it's first focal plane optic. Just uh, just released from Night Force. I think there's only a couple dozen of them out there so far, and uh, they were um, nice enough to engrave the AI logo for our team on the uh, on the objective end. Um, Running spur mounts, this rifle is currently chambered in 6x47 Lapua uh, for competition use, 26 inch barrel, uh, Thunder Beast arms, 30 BA suppressor, and our prototype uh, Simrad mount there for <laughs> for the PDS-9 units. Coming to a pro shop near you, how's that <laughs> mount on there? So it is a quick release type arrangement, slides on the dovetail, locks in place, you're ready to go. That gives you uh, night capability on a day optic. That is so cool. Too bad it's still daylight outside. That would be pretty bad A to look through. Cool. All right, man. Well, thanks. Thank you.